Three Bears, retold by Meredith Hairston, illustrated by Jessica Golden. Once upon a time, there lived three bears: a father bear, a mother bear, and a baby bear. They lived in a quiet wood in their nice log home. Each of them had their own chair to sit in, bed to sleep in, and bowl to eat their yummy oats and honey. One day, the three bears decided to go for a walk in the woods. They put out their hot oats and honey to cool for when they returned. There was the father's big bowl, the mother's medium bowl. And the baby's small bowl. Now, in these woods lived a little girl named Goldilocks. One day, she was playing near the pine trees when she came across the bear's log cabin. What a nice little house! Goldilocks thought. I've never seen it before. Goldilocks became curious. And peeked through the window. She tapped at the door and said, "Hello, is anyone home?" Nobody answered. So Goldilocks decided to go in and have a look around. First, she came into the kitchen. She spotted the three bowls full of oats and honey. Next to the bowls were three chairs that were all different sizes. The first chair was too large for Goldilocks. The next chair was larger still, but the third chair was the smallest, and she thought it was just right. Goldilocks sat down and ate all the oats and honey in the matching little bowl. When Goldilocks tried to get up, she accidentally broke the baby bear's chair. Goldilocks was feeling tired after all her walking and eating, and decided she needed to take a rest. She went upstairs and found three beds. The first bed was too long. The next bed was too wide, but the small bed. Was just right. She curled up and went to sleep. Just then, the bears came home. They came into the kitchen, and the baby bear saw that his chair was broken, and his oats and honey were eaten. Somebody has been here and eaten my oats and honey! Exclaimed the baby bear. Someone has been here and broken your chair! Exclaimed the mother bear. Someone has been here," said the father bear, "and I wonder where that someone is." The bears followed each other up the stairs to find their beds had been disturbed. "Somebody's been lying in my bed," growled the father bear. "Somebody's been lying in my bed," sniffed the mother bear. "Somebody's lying in my bed, and it's a little girl." Cried the baby bear. The bears decided to wake up the little girl and find out where she came from. As Goldilocks awoke, she remembered what she had done and quickly said she was very sorry for taking without asking. They all went back downstairs, and Goldilocks helped the bears fix the chair and make more oats and honey. Goldilocks went on her way back home, and they all lived happily ever after.